Hi, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple things before we start. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. Details uh, for personal readings and also details how to win a free personal reading. So with that, Cancer, we're going to start your reading here in a moment. Just want to let everybody know that uh, this reading may not resonate with you every single day because I do do these readings daily, okay? So take it how it resonates, you know, what doesn't resonate, you can leave behind. Um, but just want to let you know that, that I may pick up different energy, different days for different people, okay? <laughs> different strokes for different folks, I don't know. So with that, Cancer, let's get started. I want to say thank you for all of your love, your support your kind comments i do appreciate you so let's see what the energy is here okay we've got somebody trapped in fear here number eight movement choices and decisions okay so someone's feeling stuck okay could be you could be somebody here you're connecting with okay i see it's interesting because you know you got a flower here you got coins here you got uh wedding rings here okay so there may be some decisions maybe you or somebody else here someone's trying to make a decision here you know it could be around money career it could be around you know relationship marriage some of you it could be around uh definitely could be around growth healing is what i'm getting there Oh, wow. Look at that. We have six. Uh, harmony. Someone I feel here, okay? This is six of cups energy. There's someone I feel that feels really connected to you. Somebody that um, I feel is thinking about you, misses you, okay? Someone may be trying to make a decision here, okay? But they're feeling stuck okay in their fear here now there could be other responsibilities okay in the movement choices and decisions that could be affecting some sort of decision that they're trying to make here with you but i feel like this is someone who feels at peace with you okay they may not be feeling at peace in general right now let's see what's on the bottom of the deck yeah wow look at that number two we have uh this is spiritual union Someone here, I feel, uh, feels a very strong spiritual connection to you. I get a very healing vibe, especially, you know, because this is cups energy. But you can see um, this person's wearing green. And as these two people are touching, there's just a very healing energy. Maybe that's what you give to this person, Cancer. Maybe you have a very healing energy and they feel at peace with you. But there's some decisions here, okay? There may be some decisions here. You also have here uh, the base chakra, okay? So I feel like when this person is with you, Cancer does feel like that's somebody around you already. But it feels like this person feels safe. They feel secure, um, this is someone I feel maybe you give them, you know, that healing, that peace, um, and that they love. All right. So I'm going to put that fourth card there. Let's, uh, pull, uh, some tarot now. Let's see what else the energy shows here for you, Cancer. Yeah, definitely somebody here thinking about you. Let's clarify. Let's see. Why is this person what's holding this person back or what are these fears okay so we've got the eight of pentacles okay this could be around money and finances their work here okay they may feel bound to their work now this can talk about their focus is what i'm getting here okay um you know you got uh sadness and disappointment here okay so this could be someone you know this could be someone having regrets Maybe um, maybe because they couldn't make the effort or they haven't made the effort. Uh, this could be someone who I feel could even struggle with depression here. But this also could be someone that feels very bound to their, their work, could be very stressed at this time is what I'm getting here too. Let's, um, let's see what, uh, what are movements and choices here. Oh, this one wanted to come out. Okay, we got the four of wands. All right, yeah. 
Interesting, Cancer, Four of Wands energy. There's a decision here, okay, around relationship, coming together, um, around stability here. Now, like I said, their work life could be, um, you know, their work life could be affecting their decisions. I do see the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, so it does feel like this is someone who is wanting to take a step towards this Four of Wands energy, okay, coming together, happiness, peace, joy, but something's holding them back. Something, their attention and their focus is on something else right now that I feel is causing them stress, uh, you know, could be worry, doubts here, okay, disappointments, there could be something going on in their life or, you know, they're having regrets about something they did. But let's keep going, Cancer. What else can you share with Cancer, please? Okay. Look at that. The magician here. They're trying to manifest here something with you. Okay. And it may be that they're, they know they have to take some sort of action um, to get some sort of movement here. Let's see what else. King of Swords. Okay. It does feel like. This person's trying to to gain some clarity here, okay? Coming to some sort of truth, realization, using their wisdom to make some sort of choice decision. Yeah, this is what they've been thinking about. We got Virgo energy. We also have here Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The moon card, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we do have the full energy. I feel like this person here, okay, their emotions are getting in the way here because they're trapped in fear here. Could be a Pisces, could be another Cancerian, but you got the full and the moon card here. This is someone getting ready, I feel, to take some sort of risk um, leap of faith here, I feel, with you, Cancer. Okay, King of Cups and the Six of Cups. On an emotional level, it's very clear that this person feels a very strong connection with you. Some of you, you know, the Six of Cups can be a past life connection or this is someone from your past. This is someone I feel, they feel some uncertainty, they feel some doubts here. But they're ready, getting ready to take a, a risk, a leap of faith here because they feel such a very strong connection with you, Cancer. Some of you, this is someone who misses you, someone who's been thinking about you, okay? And they know they have to make some sort of decision or choice. Let's keep going. What else can you share with Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? We'll clarify what's needed. All right, yeah, Ace of Swords. Okay, this is a newfound clarity. This shows me upcoming here. This is someone getting ready to take some sort of decisive action. Bottom of the deck here, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. This is someone, they're taking their time, they're moving slowly here, but this is someone who is getting ready, who is quite clear coming towards you because look, they want the romantic opportunity here with you. So I feel like this is someone getting ready to connect. Someone getting ready to connect with you, Cancer. They're quite clear. I feel what needs to happen, but the only thing right now is um, either work, okay, some sort of responsibility that is holding them back, or I'm feeling here it's their fears, okay? Look at that. There you are, Queen of Cups. We saw the King of Cups earlier, right? They're quite clear, I feel, how they feel about you. They see the potential with the four of wands. There could be a twin flame. We, you know, yesterday's reading, um, you know, I felt was a twin flame energy. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, I, this keeps coming up in your readings, Cancer. They they think about you. Okay, this is someone doing a lot of soul searching. But what I do feel again, here's the harmony. Here's the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as giving, kind. 
they see um they feel peace with you there's something about you cancer very healing for them and they feel peace with you this is what they think about when they're alone they think about and you know this is also an offer this nine of pentacles here so i feel like this is someone who is seeing you in a really good light here but they've been holding back that's what it's showing here they've been holding back they've been holding back um, and like I said, for some of you, I feel they're holding back because there may be some work responsibilities or their attention and focus is on something else. But others, it's fear, right? Definitely get a fear energy. Yeah, look at that. With the moon card and the devil, this is someone who has fears. Okay. You know, this is someone who could be, you know, kind of obsessing in their thoughts that's keeping them trapped here. We do have uh, the Empress as well, Libra energy, and we got Capricorn there as well, okay? So I feel like this person here, they, they want a new beginning with you. This is someone I feel um, they could be at this time obsessing, okay? Obsessing in their thoughts. Let's see what else. Seven of Cups, yeah. The full card, all right? They're cut, they're in their emotions, Cancer. You know, they're looking at the possibilities here with that Seven of Cups. They're questioning themselves, right? There's something here they may feel is risky, okay? Now, it could just be it's risky because. Right? They gotta put themselves out there. They gotta, you know, they gotta show some vulnerability. Okay, this is a, a sign here with the King of Swords that this is someone who is not a person who's really vul vulnerable. So that could be the fear here too. Is being vulnerable, right, to show you cancer, right, that they do want, right, to be with you. You got look at that, two of cups here. You got the two of cups and you got the knight of wands again. Right, they see you as a perfect partner. The Knight of Wands does show me here that they are coming into your life, okay? Very excited, could be a, a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But there is someone here, you know, you've got it twice here, spiritual union. There's a spiritual union here that's about to happen between you and someone, okay? I'm gonna clarify, we'll use this deck. What is this person's biggest fear here with, you know, coming towards cancer? What's this person's biggest fear? <laughs> oh boy, look at that. Page of Cups, Queen of Swords. Well, I almost feel like they feel a little bit intimidated. Um, you know, the Queen of Swords here, you know, I feel like they may... Um, there's something here, maybe they don't feel you're approachable for some reason. They may see you as guarded. Um, the page of cups here, okay, their fear here, I feel, is like you may not be open uh, to communicating with them or what they have to offer is really what I'm getting there. That's the biggest fear is what I'm seeing here, okay? Could be dealing with another water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, you know, I feel like what's going to happen is this person's going to feel it out, they're going to feel it out. They're going to see how you respond. But they are worried here, okay, with this Queen of Swords energy. They may see you as very guarded right now, okay? And some of you may be, depending on your situation. Let's see. Um, I'm going to clarify the devil. This is what I feel like they're really obsessing about. What is this person obsessing about? Look at that. They're obsessing about taking that risk, that leap of faith, okay? I feel like they feel it's risky, right? I feel like they feel it's risky. This is someone who doesn't want to be rejected. This is someone I feel, I always see the devil too. I'm hearing, um, you know, they don't want to take no for an answer, okay? So when this person comes towards you, when they really make the decision or the choice, right? They don't want, they're, they're worried here. They're worried that you could reject them, but they're obsessing here about the potential here, the opportunity with you. Some of you, it could be that there is healing needed in this connection. And look, you have uh, the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Got Gemini energy here. Again, this is someone who feels a very strong connection with you. Okay, they're very, very drawn to your energy. 
So let's um, clarify. What has this person been thinking about? Okay, we know what they've been obsess obsessing about. We know what they're worried about. What is what has this person been really thinking about here with the Hermit energy? Wow, again, they want this to work. They're thinking about the potential here, okay, coming together with you, the, you know, the start of something new. You do, look at that, Ten of Pentacles. They're thinking about something long-lasting, this is a long-lasting energy here with the Ten of Pentacles. We also had the Four of Wands. Like I said, once this person makes the decision, right, they want this to work, okay? There's somebody who wants to make this work because they feel so drawn to you. Let's see what's um, holding them back, okay? So if we can see, you know, what is truly holding this person back? I'm going to ask again. Some of you, it's work, but in case there's other reasons... What else is truly holding this person back right now? Okay. Well, Nine of Wands. There's there's some there's also some challenges this person is going through in their life here. Okay. They may be exhausted. Like I said, it could be because of work or it could be because of other responsibilities. All right. I do feel with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords, this person really wants to communicate with you. They could be spying on you, keeping an eye on you type of energy here. So let's uh, let's pull some more uh, messages here, see what else comes up. I feel like this is definitely someone who wants the romantic opportunity with you, but uh, there's just some things that are maybe holding this person back because it's quite clear they have clarity about you cancer they already know you in some sort of way and and they know that you are the one so thank you spirit and angels for your guidance what other messages do you have for cancer what else does cancer need to know yeah look at that this is what they think about you got the hermit energy again and the eight of coin they're they're trying to listen to their wisdom here okay this is someone very intellectual okay they probably um yeah here it is the page of swords this is someone who's strategically thinking right they're strategically thinking about the toss here right the torch toss that you know they're going to put that effort in they're going to put that focus towards you cancer and they're really trying to figure out strategically the approach that's what it's showing here but look here's the eight of swords again okay so they get caught up in their thoughts their fears or their responsibilities here is what it has held them back right so let's see what else what else can you share with cancer this could be someone who spends um you know a lot of time alone too Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Or maybe they've been single a long time. But what else uh, does Cancer need to know? We got Taurus energy. Yeah, look at that. Six of Cups energy again. Either past life energy or somebody here you already know. Okay. Hierophant here. And uh, the nine, is it the nine of wands? Yeah, it's the nine of wands here, okay? So this is someone I feel, um, they're gonna do what it takes, okay? This is someone I feel who doesn't always listen to their higher self. Um, some of you, you know, this could be someone who has fears and doubts because of past relationships here. And for some of you, this could be someone in the past who could never really, you know, make a commitment, okay? And that could be why you're in this Queen of Swords energy. But I also feel, again, this is thinking strategically. This is someone thinking strategically, right, about the potential and the opportunity here with you, okay? But Six of Swords here, something needs to change, right something needs to change they know something needs to change maybe this person works a lot and you know maybe they know that needs to change because they got to put that focus on you right or they have to show you in some sort of way right that they're interested 
you know, that, um, you know, they don't have other responsibilities that hold them back, that they're going to be there for you if they're going to take you seriously here. Okay, so this is all I feel that's going on in this person's head right now um, in making decisions, okay, about coming towards you. Let's see what the yin yang oracles have to say. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here for Cancer? Look at that. Soul ties. This is reunion. This is a faded partnership. Yeah, it's faded for you and this person to come together. Some of you, it's past, okay? Either past life or past returns. Is that energy? Decisions, yeah. A, a second card here of decisions. Two choices here, all right? You know, some of you, there may be other, you know, restrictions in this person's life, and they may be deciding, well, do I just keep, uh, you know, keep the same momentum going here or how it is with cancer, or do I take the new path? Okay, it's kind of like this, should I stay or should I go? You also have your dream messages. So you and this person may, uh, you know, talk to each other telepathically. This is the 5D. Okay, this also can be your spirit guides trying to bring you two together or to help this person make some sort of decision. It could be your decision too, Cancer. Take it how it resonates. We also have here chemistry. This is two of cups energy. This is the spirit, spiritual, you know, uh, tie here, mutual feelings feeling drawn to one another. We also have here, um, remember, this is spiritual awakening energy. So this could be someone who's going through a spiritual awakening, doing some light work, okay, some inner shifts going on to help, make, have, uh, to help this person make some sort of decision. We also have here belief systems, okay? So this could be someone who, you know, has let past beliefs, okay, hold them back. That could be the fears. This could be someone who feels like, you know, uh, what other people think matter, you know, conforms to society beliefs, right? So ego and things can get in the way here, okay? There is something greater here, Cancer. It's saying trust, saying trust there's some sort of divine timing here for you and this person to come together there's greater forces at work here in your situation and look you're not going to believe this because today is the first day of fall and look what came up here okay this is fall energy here and this is uh things things starting over this is soul growth this is also about um new intentions Okay, whether it's you or this person here. And I have to say, I think it was yesterday, we have 100 days uh, left in the year, okay? Somewhere around 100 days. Now is a perfect time to set your intentions, okay? Set your intentions now. You don't need to wait till the first of the year. But this person, there's, there's an epiphany here. There's some sort of shift that is happening and it's happening in divine timing. And I feel like this could be someone in the past, you know, someone here you know, okay? Whether it's, you know, an acquaintance or whether it's a friend or whether it's a past person, this is someone I feel who is having the realization, the epiphany about this connection between you and them, okay? Which is bringing about a lot of decisions. Okay, a lot's going on in this person. This could be someone who is definitely going through some sort of awakening. Someone who other things in their life always held them back from, you know, being with a partner or being in a commitment or being in a relationship, right? And some of you, it just could be this is someone who just really likes to work and, you know, relationships, maybe this is someone who that was not their first priority, but there's something changing here. There's something shifting here with this person, Cancer. So let's, uh, let's pull some more um, psychic tarot oracles. What else can you share with Cancer? What else does Cancer need to know? 
Interesting. We have truth here. Yeah, there's an awakening going on because we have shadow here. Someone um, I feel, it's also another number two. I'm seeing a lot of twos here. We've seen a lot of ones. Okay. Uh, number nine. Okay. Number nine is a destiny number here. This person is seeing the truth here. Okay. They may have to, they may be looking themselves in the mirror. Okay, we also have here positive movement forward. Okay, this is someone making a decision here. Okay, to, to move towards that peace and that happiness that they see with you. Okay, this is also needed change here. Positive movement forward. And I feel like Cancer, this is someone waking up. This is someone waking up. Okay, because they see um this positive energy with you they're very drawn to your energy is what i see here this could be someone too um i'm going to say here that you could live at a distance not everybody okay yeah look at that the solar plexus chakra this is about free will and choice someone making uh the choice here to do something it's a number three it's telling me there's a birth of something new this is also someone the solar plexus chakra is right below our rib cage and we tend to hold in our emotions there this is someone who's held in their emotions their feelings here but now they're dealing with it okay they're dealing with that let's see what else comes out for you okay <laughs> I feel like this is a power struggle for this person because look, it's right there with the shadow side, Leo energy. This is someone, you know, again, it's the, it's those belief systems, those, uh, you know, wanting to conform its ego. I feel like this person is definitely going through a power struggle. I'm seeing eights here too. Eight may be important to you, but this is someone I feel right. They're trying to gain the courage here to do something they're gaining trying to gain the courage here to speak up this is the throat chakra that's what needs to change this is someone who i feel has really not really led on to you cancer right how they truly feel about you and that's what it's showing me here that's what needs to change i said with this card something needs to change the throat chakra Okay, they've held in a lot for a long time. And I don't feel like it's just with you, Cancer. I feel like it's within their life in general. This person who has held back a lot, they may have a blockage in their throat chakra. Somebody who isn't, um, you know, they get scared if they, if they truly open up and they, you know, show you how they truly feel. That's that energy. All right. Let's pull some uh, Moonology. Let's see what the guidance is here for Cancer. What's the guidance here for Cancer? Please share with Cancer what they need to know. Okay, balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is the full moon in Pisces. Okay, yeah, this is balancing the emotions. This is someone, that's what I feel like this person is doing, okay? Okay. This is what this person is doing so that they can make decisions here about this connection. You also have your motivation. This person is motivated to do this. It's very clear here. They're motivated by your energy cancer, right? They're, this is also, I feel, you know, with this beautiful butterfly here, right? They're going through a transformation here. This is also illumination, okay? Awakening. Look at that. A win one a win win outcome is in the forecast. This is Libra energy. Okay. Balancing the scales here. We also have here this is the fi a fiery climax approaches. This is the full moon in Aries. So something's about to happen, and I told you I felt it here. It's going to be <clears throat> excuse me. I said here we were um, in the energy, right, of autumn, okay, 
but we're also in the energy here of Libra season, okay? Libra season, balancing the scales here, Libra season. This is, something's coming to a head here, okay? It's it's soon, Cancer. And look, your next card here is a romantic cycle. This is also Libra energy. So I feel like Spirit's giving you some timing here. This is happening, I feel, Cancer, pretty soon. All right, let's get, um, I'm gonna get some final messages here. We'll do the higher self messages again these will be messages uh these will be messages for you what else can you share with cancer what's the guidance here for cancer you are a beacon for others to follow so don't hide that bright light you are okay i already showed you cancer that this person's very attracted to your energy the way that they feel the energy they feel from you okay i don't feel like it's you know they feel definitely a very loving energy is what i'll say here okay some of you this person already has feelings for you but they're also showing you cancer that you have some sort of gift that you can share with the world okay you are that beam of light um and that you can project that to others. So they want you to know that. Do something with it is what I feel like they're telling you. Let's see what else. So don't hide who you are or who you are meant to be for anybody, even this person, okay? You aren't done. You are just getting started. Love it. Love it, Cancer. Okay, you are a magical being with the whole universe wanting no, not wanting, waiting to assist you, okay? There it is again. There's a confirmation telling you, Cancer, you have some gifts inside of you that you can share with the world, and Spirit wants to help you. Spirit wants to guide you during this time, okay? So I feel this is a beautiful reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.